What's going on guys? Gomes here, back again on an MLB The Show 20 update. Not too many more of these. Good lord. With my hair like this wearing red, I look like Lord, lord Farquaad. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, we do have an update today, and immediately what you might notice is it's not interesting until you delve into the deeper details. Um, there is actually a pretty cool card, uh, and we're also going to talk about the future of uh, MLB The Show 20 for what little shelf span it has left, and a uh, little bit of MLB 21. So if you guys do enjoy I don't, uh, at least thinking about that there might be a new baseball game somewhat soon. That is an RBI baseball, although Tim Anderson's been announced on their cover. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. Um, very cool video coming out tomorrow, uh, detailing a lot of what to expect from the next generation hardware. Spent a lot of time on that one. Uh, that being said, let's get into this one, which I didn't spend much time on. Uh, and this is exactly what I mean. Uh, this was such a... Uh, such a ball deflator, such a shaft shrinker uh, to see uh, because I was under the impression that next year is now. Perhaps that could maybe spell we could see Wander Franco, Adley Rushman. Uh, wouldn't you know that is not the case? Uh, I was, you know, quite disappointed once I saw that. Um, Richie Ashburn's not the most intriguing candidate for a brand new card to use and damn near February, uh, but there is actually something really cool, and that is 94 Shohei Otani. This is a card I've been asking for uh, for many moons. Uh, I've r longed for this card. Um, towards the start of the year, I had a hard time picking up the 88 face of the franchise Otani. Uh, this one's only better, so pitching-wise, of course, uh, he's better than he is currently. Uh, I hope he bounces back, but he looked really rough last year, which makes sense coming off all the uh, injuries, at least on the pitching front. But uh, Otani comes in hot, uh, so to speak, literally. Uh, Going to throw 98, 99, maybe even topping out at triple digits on the four seam. Uh, he only has four pitches, uh, otherwise being a slider, a splitter, and a curveball. I like the splitter better than a changeup anyway, and a uh, very slow curveball. So if you notice, all his pitches are pretty different on the velocity end. Um, 90 stamina isn't particularly great. 102, 103 hit and K per nine are uh, solid. And then 60 BB9 is nothing to write home about. Um, quite literally. So not great uh, until you look at his hitting stats. He pretty much has maxed out, uh, or he does have maxed out power against right-handers, minus one. Uh, don't fuck it. Beggars can't be choosers, damn it, at this point of the year. Uh, but he does have 111 contact against righties. Against lefties, not, you know, good. Um, but I suppose he could swing a stick. He's still better than about every other pitcher on that offensive end. 57 vision. They don't show speed for some reason. He does have 124 clutch. Whoopee, wag the fingers for that one. The most important attribute of all. Um, but I think it's a cool card. I think it's something that uh, makes the game interesting, you know, for once. This is what we've been looking for, uh, in a sense, just to provide some life into the game. Um, and like I said, Richie Ashburn, I'm not too excited about. This is a one-to-one -one copy from his card last year. 119, 116 contact, mid-50s power, max division. 65 arm and center, 88 speed, 80 fielding. It's not a horrible card, you know. He's not going to never get hits. I'm sure he's going to at least bat above .050, probably. Uh, that's going to be my guarantee. Uh, refunds if he bats other, uh, if he bats under than that. Um, but he should hit the, Men uh, the Mendoza line with flying colors uh, and not much more. Just not really excited for that one. Um... And the Otani card, like I said, is something to actually bring me onto the game. I'm going to want to try out that card. And everything else is just a bunch of packs, which uh, is just a bunch of quick sells, a bunch of bullshit at this point. Uh, packs don't go for anything. There's really no point uh, as far as I'm concerned. Everything is quick sell value, more or less. Um, so that is the update today. Um, we did get a panel update. Is there anything more interesting? There is not. So there's another event that's going to be coming out on the 2nd of February, um, finest awards and monthly award series. Will we ever see Adley in Wander? Do you care? Those are the questions. Um, I think we will because, again, I think there is going to be a delay for MLB The Show 21. If you missed my video, news is coming in February. Could be February 1st. Could be... Is it a, is it a leap year? 
I don't think so. February 28th, uh, assuming that it's not the 29th. One of the two, at late fucking 20s for the month of February. It's somewhere in that span. I think it's probably going to be... I My estimate's going to be maybe the 10th, the 10th through 15th, somewhere in that uh, ballpark. Hopefully we find out about created ballparks. So, um, like I said, I do think it is going to be delayed. I find it hard to believe that it is not uh, since it's been so late uh, that we do actually see an official announcement. We haven't seen any of that. We saw a uh, little title card on their Twitter um, months back. That's it. There's been no official uh, announcement of the game pre-order, you know, anything of that sort. So we're still waiting for that. Uh, I think my best estimate, uh, if I were to have throw a hat in the ring here i would say they probably are going to give out different versions i'm pretty confident in that at this point i just don't think they're willing to sacrifice uh the opening day sales that they get for you know baseball even though the world is still in a weird climate at this current point uh i still think you know a lot of people baseball time comes around they want to play a baseball video game and i don't think they want to play rbi baseball unless they want to uh, speed run depression speed run disappointment um and really have a if you have a burning hole in your pocket go ahead drop 30 bucks i'm gonna be with the rest of them and buying it on ebay for 20 bucks to review in a few months um but yeah like i said uh i would think maybe end of march a ps4 version could come out and then the end of april a ps5 and hopefully xbox series x and whatever else is going to be coming alongside right with it uh that would be my best guess like i said i just don't think that they are going to sacrifice both physical and uh you know microtransaction sales through diamond dynasty for the beginning of the mlb 2021 season uh, i just find it very hard to believe it's a far-fetched imagination that they're just going to forego tons of cash um and not just put out a lazy half-assed attempt which is more or less a diamond dynasty game I don't think that they're going to decrease the price. I think it's going to be a lot like how 2K did it. Um, there's not really a bunch of new features. I know they had a different park or whatever, but, uh, you know, primarily people did it to tie themselves over or to get a head start on my team. I think that's likely what it is going to be. Uh, but I think that's more or less what I wanted to talk about in this one. Uh, like I said, we don't have a panel update. Just going to tweet surf here. Did MLB The Show tweet? They did not. Does the end? Does the day end in Y? No. Uh, yes. So they did not tweet. Makes sense. Um, so yeah, we have a new Sho uh, Shohei Otani card coming out, and I guess keep your eyes peeled. Maybe on the second of February, we are gonna see those two future stars, Adley and Wander. And uh, who knows? Let me know if you guys are still playing this game. Uh, I just thought you know it's uh, easy video to make and uh, easy way to get some dialogue between the two of us. Um, opposed to I don't know just going on long twitter threads those aren't typically too fun um but anyway if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like down below thank you all for watching and again look out for the video tomorrow gonna be uh pretty exciting i'm very uh you know eager to see your guys's opinions and reactions to uh what the marvelous world of uh, baseball simulation could look like on uh, the next generation consoles but yeah thank you guys for watching 